Hi everyone, it's Shelby here. Welcome back to A Little Literary Love. I'm glad you all are with me today. Um, and if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe. Really appreciate it as a small YouTuber here on the YouTubes. Um, so this video today, I'm going to be talking about a recent, um, ebook haul that I've done. Um, I've seen, um, Ava's romance books. She does a, an ebook haul every month. Um, so I en really enjoy watching those videos. I just like haul videos in general, and I'm honestly more inclined to buy and read ebooks than I am to read physical copies. Um, so I'd like to start trying to do that, doing like an ebook haul every month for you all. But this ebook haul is going to be specific towards the Stuff Your E-Reader Day. So this comes around every few months or so. Um, sometimes it's very a lot smaller, sometimes it's a lot bigger, um, but basically it's just a day where different retail companies that sell ebooks have them for free. Um, so you can snag a lot of books. Um, so there is a website that you can check out. So this book, this particular day was, I think, June 20th or something. Um, and I will have to look up and try to find out if I can when the next Stuff Your E-Reader Day is going to be so that you'll know. But you can kind of go to this website and then this website has all of the different books that are for sale for free um and you can go in and tell you like say like if like i read on my kindle so i go to that one but you can also if you read on like the barnes and noble nook um i think it also has if you read like kobo um just a whole bunch of different ones and then it categorizes all these books by like genre most of them i believe are like pretty well mostly all romance um there might be some others that aren't but i, I don't know the romance ones are like the only ones I pay attention to because obviously I am a romance reader. Um, and then all of these books, it just kind of gives you like, um, there's like some keywords that it might have and like a blurb and then you can click on it and it takes you to the link um, where you can get the book for free and you can read like the synopsis of it. So I end up getting a lot like a lot of books but in my my brain is like oh free um it's like over 50 books it's a lot so we're gonna go through all of them I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly um because I just don't really have time to read the synopsis for all of these for you all um and I'm gonna kind of give you like just kind of quick um, either like tropes about what they're about or like quick little things about what they might be about um if you are a Kindle reader like I am, a lot of the books that are for free are also end up being on KU. So I know some of my friends have told me that they it doesn't really benefit them um, because they would just read it on KU anyway. For me, my KU is always pretty full, like the books that I have checked out um, that I'm just, I'm chaotic like that. Um, so I don't always end up getting to them. And then I also feel like a lot of books end up going in and out of KU. Um, so if there's a book that's for free, I'm probably just going to go ahead and get it. So it just is on my Kindle like forever. Um, and I don't have to worry about if it's on KU anymore or not. Um, and then there are also, also I did find some books that are not on KU on this list that just ended up being for free. So well, this is going to be a long one, guys. Um, we're going to get right into it. So um, I have The Duke's Unwilling Bride by Vivian Murdoch. Um, this I thought was very interesting because this is a historical romance, but it's also a megaverse. And I loved that. Like, I can't wait to read this. Um, and this is also supposed to be a retelling or a spin on the, like, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers movie musical whatever book I don't know what that was um and so this is part of the series of seven omegas for seven alphas so I thought that was really interesting um and then I grabbed a deal with the earl by Sadie Bosk um this is a historical romance um marriage of convenience um to an earl he loves her but she's in love with somebody else um, then Sinful Vow by Emily Bowie. 
this is a dark mafia romance. This is rival families. Um, and he ends up stealing her. And then that sparks a war between their two families. So that was, that was interesting. Um, then The Silence Lies by Sophie Dyer. This is another mafia one. Um, she is head of the mafia. So I really like reading ones where the female is the head. I think that's really cool. Um, and she is wanting revenge on her dead best friend. Um, and I think this ends up being White Shoes. Um, Trusting Cade by Luna David. This is a romantic suspense. This is a Killian. Um, so male, male. Um, and this one is one of them is being stalked and the other one is the bodyguard. So very interested in that. Dead Draw by Layla Rain. This is another ugh, romantic suspense. Um, this ends up being... This is another Achillean romance, so male, male. Um, they end up de doing, like, a marriage of convenience. Um, they're both special agents. I don't know why they have to do get married. Um, one of them is a cowboy. So that just had a lot of tropes thrown at me that I was like, okay, this sounds cool. Um, Oath Keepers MC The Collection by Sapphire Knight. Honestly, the only thing that I know about this is that it's an MC. Um, and this is basic. I think this is the entire series. So if there's an entire series that's free, I'm jumping on that. Um, Tesoro by Nicole Banks. This is another mafia romance. Um, this is, he's an heir to the mafia and he's trying to get out. Um, Stay Baby Stay by Margot Scott. This is another romantic suspense. Um, he is trying to keep her safe from a serial killer, and it sounds like there's also some daddy kink involved. So that sounded good. Um, then we have Body Count by L. Evewind. Um, this is a non-binary author. Um, this is a male male romance, and one of the guys in this one is a murdering psychopath, and sounds like he becomes obsessed with the other character. Um, then we have Prince of Hearts by Kira Tay. This is from a black author. Um, this, I thought sounded really cool. This is a mafia princess, but it takes place in Africa. So I've never read an African mafia romance book before. So I'm very intrigued by this one. Then we have Illicit Temptations by Janine Inf Infante Borco. I I think I'm saying that correctly. I don't know. Um, this is another mafia romance, and this is with the boss's daughter. Um, then Space for More by Emily Antoinette. I've heard amazing things about this author, and I have not read a single book from her. Um, this is an alien romance. It is FFM. Um, I think this is a couple, and then another female comes in, and maybe the couple is kind of on the rocks, I think. Um, then Ready or Not by Jillian Rink. This is an Omegaverse. Um, and Omega is paired with a pack, but she's worried because she's on suppressants. Then I have Good in the Zack by Just Savage. Um, this is an MFF romance. Um, our, one of the females has had a crush on the guy. He's like a movie star some sort of like famous star but he's she's like known him um because i think he's also her sibling's best friend um but he's also married so he hires her to watch his wife and make sure she doesn't get into trouble and then it turns into an M mff then Royal Savage by Victoria Ashley. Um, this is supposed to be just, all I read about this is that it is a dark, emotional roller coaster. And then Succubus Lips by Lena Jubilee. Um, this is, it's pitched as superpowers meets elven high fantasy. I don't know, I was intrigued. 
Then Winter's List by Jordan Crass. Um, this is an MMF um, and she has nowhere to stay on vacation. So she um, gets the help from these guys, these strangers take her in. Um, I think they're best friends, but want more. I don't know, sound good? Um, Breaking Lucia by Reza Donovan and Adron Wolf. Um, all I know about this is that it's Mafia White Shoes. Then Ruthless Saints by Ella Jade, another mafia. This is an arranged marriage, but she's to spy on her betrothed for her family. Lesson in Trust by K.L. Parker. Um, this is a BDSM club. Um, there is a menage and there is a daddy dom in this one. Then Broken Crown by M.J. Crouch. Um, she, another head of the mafia. She's the head of the mafia. And this is another white shoes. Um, Taming Savage by R.S. McKenzie. Um, all you know about this is that it is male-male, so a Killian romance, but it is also a Beauty and the Beast reimagining. And then Suck It Up by M. Darcy. Um, I know this is a Black author, and I think this is a bully romance, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell from the blurb on this one. Um, Bound and Beguiled by Rowan Merrick. I've been wanting to read this author for a while. She writes monster romance, um, and then polyamorous monster romance. So that sounds amazing. Um, Remember Me by Avril Ashton. This is a dark, um, Achillean romance, um, and it also has amnesia trope in it. Then Say When by Becca Lamb. This is a dark age gap romance with BDSM and it sounds like she's on the run. Um, Heart of a Monster by Shane Rose. Um, this is by a black author. This is a mafia romance and this features an interracial couple. Um, Falling for Them by Callista Jane. Um, this is an MFM. Um, this is apparently supposed to be a Cinderella retelling. It features a daddy kink. And then it also sounds like it features what I like to call your dad can do it better. Um, so it sounds like she was with her boyfriend and maybe they break up and then she gets with his dad. And I can't remember if it was dad's best friend. And that's how it turns into MFM. I don't know. I'm here for it. Um, the Wickford Hollow Duet by M. Violet. This is a Why Choose Romance. Um, this sounds really interesting. Apparently this girl goes into this haunted house on Halloween and attracts the attention of three ghosts. So it's apparently supposed to be a ghost romance. I don't know. Um, Tied Up in Him by Cassie Fairbanks. All I know about this one is it is a best friend's dad. Um, then Forbidden Obsession by Isabella Alexander. This is a mafia romance and it also kind of sounds like it's a professor student romance. So y'all know I love a good professor student romance. So I'm here for that. Um, Daisy Unchained by Elena Dawn. Um, this sounds like it's just a steamy, steamy good time, apparently. Um, this is Step Siblings. Um, there's an age gap, and then there also features like there's a lot of different like kinky stuff that it features, but apparently it also features breastfeeding kink. I don't know, I feel like my face is getting red. Um then Crown of Earth and Sky by Emberly Ash. This is a fantasy romance um, featuring a King Arthur retelling and with Faye. Um, and then A Kiss of Salt and Sea by Bliss Devlin. Um, this is a girl that becomes an indentured servant at a supernatural academy and attracts the attention of these supernatural creatures. Um, this ends up being a white shoes. Um, and then Spellbound After Midnight by Jenna Collette. Um, this is a Cinderella retelling, but between a witch and a detective, it sounds like she has a lot of spells that just go wrong. 
um, Capturing the Orc's Heart by Leon, Leon, Leon Riley. I've heard really good things about this author as well. Um, Monster Romance um, sounds like they are in the army maybe um and then they have this like forced proximity one tent scenario um from frost to flame by viola vines um this is a an achilling romance meal meal um between a vampire and a werewolf and this happens to be a second chance apparently the vampire gets cursed and ends up finding his ex the werewolf to help him break this curse um, Enchant by Demelza Carlton. Um, all I know about this is that it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Then Court of Tricksters by S.L. Prater. Um, this is another fantasy romance. This features faded mates between a fae and a witch, um, but she doesn't want to marry him, so he kidnaps her. Sounds like a great, great start to that relationship. Um, Bound to You by Allison Carraway. This is an angel and demon romance and it is Capture Captive. I'm always intrigued by angel and demon romances. I honestly feel like I have not read enough of them and I want to read more. And then Night Elves of Ardani by Nina K. Westra. This is apparently a forbidden enemies to lovers, a human and an elf, like I think a night elf maybe, or well obviously because that's the title of the book. Um, this ends up being a captor captive and it sounds like there might also be a language barrier, which I'm a sucker for a good language barrier trope. I just, I gobble it up. We are a little over halfway done, guys. Um, then Mass Temptation by Diana Noir. Um, this is a demoness who is undercover in the Fey realm. Then we have The Ever King by L.J. Andrews, another author that I've heard amazing things about and I have not read yet. Um, this just had all kinds of like tropes just like thrown at you. There's pirates, sirens, Fey, and Viking. I was like. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then like the tagline for this is they stole his crown. So he stole their daughter. I don't know. That sounds good. I need to read some first. Um, and then a wildfire in the wind, wildflower in the wind by Megan shade. Um, all I know about this is that it is Faye and it is a captor captive. Then we get to daughter of the moon by Isla Elric. Um, this one sounded really interesting. So this is really a, a high fantasy based on Celtic mythology. Um, this has reincarnated soulmates, but then the female main character has autism, which I found very intriguing. I'm very interested in reading this one. Um, then our fake queen volume one by, I'm trying to read my, my handwriting, Tracy, I think. Love lit, love lot. Um, this is, the female is kidnapped and she apparently is maybe a lost fey queen. Um, but in order to inherit her power, she has to find mates with on all the different like kingdoms of the fey. So I'm assuming this ends up becoming a why choose romance. Then we have Hitched by Lauren Beale, another book that I've heard a lot of things about. Some good things, some people that were just way too much for them. I'm not sure how I will feel about this one. This is apparently a dark, dark book um, a, about a hitchhiker. This girl pulls over to help out a hitchhiker. He has just escaped from prison. And then things ensue from there. So I, I've had one of my friends has read... I don't remember if she read this book or if she read another Lauren Beale book before and she said it was almost too much for her to read. So I'm very curious where I will stand with it. Um, Lured by Dusk by Angela J. Ford. I've had so many books that I've gotten from Angela J. Ford in these like stuff your e-reader days because she always ends up putting some of her books for free on there. Um, and I really want to get to her. She's a fantasy romance author. She's a black author. Um, this one is supposed to be the Pied Piper meets Dracula. 
fantasy. Um, there's this is in like a shared world that she has. I know one of the other books that I've gotten before is like Phantom of the Opera. It's something else I can't remember, but it sounds really good. I mean, I really want to read her. Um, and then inextric inextricably tied by Avita Vice. So this is a non-binary pansexual author and she writes or they excuse me they write poly monster romance so that's what this is about so i've heard good things about this author and i want to try to check them out um not all himbos wear capes by c rochelle i've been following c rochelle for a while um and i've had this on my list for a while so i since it was on the free books list i thought i would go ahead and snatch it up this is a um male male romance between a superhero and a supervillain <sighs> Then we have Caught in the Basilisk Gaze by Mallory Dunlin. This is supposed to be a faded mates romance, um, but the the guy is half basilisk. So for some reason, so they have to mate every three days, or his like looking at her will end up killing her. I don't know, it sounded really good. Um, Demon Mind by Marina Simcoe. Um, this is supposed to be a gothic romance, a demon romance, um, and there's like a kidnapped, kid, she's kidnapped, I think. Then The Witch's Grave by L.E. Eldridge. This is a sapphic novella. Um, I think this is less than like 50 pages, um, with a witch. And then we have Nailing the Alien by Ava Ross. Um, this sounded fun. This was a faded mate. Um, our heroine gets hired by this alien guy. So he's her alien boss. Um, but then he enters a mating frenzy. So she has to help him out with that. Sounded fun. Um, then Damaged Dreams by Chris Butler. All I know about this is that it is, she's an ice skater. Um, this ends up being a white shoes romance. And it says there are male, male elements within this. Then we have Wild Pitch by Kat Giraldo. Um, so this is a Latina author. Um, this is a baseball romance. But what I, what I found really intriguing about this one is that she, like both of them, play baseball. Like she is also in the professional sports. And I thought that sounded awesome. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Um, Meet Me in the Penalty Box by Callie Mel. Um, this is a hockey romance and it kind of sort of sounds like a one night stand. Um, one of my friends, this is one of her favorite authors, so I thought I would try this out since it was free. Then Climbed by the Cthulhu by Wendy Go. Um, this is a monster romance and this is like monster speed dating and I thought this sounded really fun. And then the last book that I got for the um, free e-reader day um, is Inked by Rachel Renee. Ren um, this is apparently this girl ends up using, she works at a tattoo shop and she ends up using some magical ink um, and then finds out that her boss is actually an incubus. And then just weird scenarios ensue from there. So I thought that sounded interesting. So I know I went through all those really quickly. That was a lot of books. I got a ton. Um, anytime they have free books, I'm always like, yes, let me see what I can grab. Um, even though I will probably not get to the majority of these for a while. Um, I honestly kind of feel like I should just do like, it needs to be like a readathon or something. I think there used to be, there might still be around floating around somewhere where all you do is just read your backlist. I need to take part in that, honestly, because I have a large backlist. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And like I said at the beginning of this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I really appreciate it. If you have gotten to the end of this video, if you have stuck around, um, why don't we leave a little flower emoji down in the comments? Um, also, let me know about some of the books, ebooks that you have hauled. Um, for like the past month or so so that I can try to check out more books and of course add it to my never-ending TBR. Um, otherwise that's going to be it for this one. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys! Bye.